10 Ways to Optimize Human Growth Hormone Naturally Human growth hormone is a chemical in your body that helps your bones and tissues grow. It is also important for the health of your metabolism, adrenal glands, and brain. It is also important for growing and staying healthy during childhood and adolescence. Let's get into it. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any of our amazing videos. Low levels of growth hormone can lower your quality of life, make you more likely to get sick and cause you to gain weight. Getting your levels right is especially important when you're trying to lose weight, heal from an injury or illness, or do strength training. It's interesting that what you eat and how you live can have a big effect on your HGH levels. So without further ado, let's get to the 10 ways to optimize your human growth hormone. Number 1. Reduce your sugar intake. Refined sugar and carbs can make insulin levels go up, which may make human growth hormone levels go down. People who are healthy have higher levels of human growth hormone than those who have diabetes or are resistant to insulin. Low levels of human growth hormone may be linked to higher insulin levels and being overweight. Take all sugar and carbs that have been refined and processed out of your diet. Don't eat too much sugar in general. Focus on low glycemic index fruits like berries, low glycemic index non-starchy vegetables like artichokes, Brussels sprouts, and sugar snap peas or small amounts of certain starchy vegetables like beets, carrots, or sweet potatoes for sweet foods that are full of nutrients. You can use munt fruit, stevia, or xylitol as sweeteners if you need to, and it won't mess up your blood sugar or the ratio of keto macronutrients. Number 2. Don't eat too much before you go to bed. Your body releases a lot of growth hormones on its own, especially at night. Since most meals raise insulin levels, some experts say that you shouldn't eat before bed. Eating foods with a lot of carbs or protein can make insulin levels rise and could block some of the HGH that is made at night. Not enough research has been done on this idea, but insulin levels tend to drop about 2 to 3 hours after a meal, so you might not want to eat a lot of carbs or proteins about 2 to 3 hours before bed. Number 3. Try fasting every so often. Intermittent fasting is one way to improve human growth hormones. It is a way to eat in which you cycle between times when you don't eat and times when you do. If you are new to intermittent fasting, start with a 12 hours window between dinner and breakfast the next day. This includes the time you sleep. Gradually lengthen the time you fast. Most people feel best when they haven't eaten for 16 hours, but your needs may be different. Find out what helps you. Number four. Try taking melatonin supplements. Melatonin is a hormone that helps people sleep and keeps their blood pressure in check. Melatonin supplements have become popular because they can help you sleep better and for longer. Even though getting enough sleep can raise HGH levels on its own, new research shows that a melatonin supplement can directly increase HGH production. Melatonin is also safe and doesn't hurt you, but this can change the way your brain works so you might want to talk to your doctor before you use it. Take 1 to 5 mg about 30 minutes before bed to get the most out of it. Start with a lower dose to see how well it works for you, and then increase it if you need to. Number 5. Use a sauna. Human growth hormone can be made more when a person is in a hot sauna. Two 20-minute sauna sessions at 176 Fahrenheit may double the amount of HGH made and two 15-minute sessions at 212 Fahrenheit may make five times more HGH. Also, two-hour sessions at 176 Fahrenheit once every three days cause growth hormones to rise by 16 times. I think that you should use an infrared sauna at least twice or three times a week for 10 to 20 minutes each time. Number 6. Optimizing Your Sleep Most human growth hormone is released in impulses while you sleep. These impulses are based on the body's internal clock or circadian rhythm. The largest impulses appear before midnight, with some smaller impulses in the early morning. Studies show that poor sleep can reduce the amount of the HGH your body produces. In fact, getting an adequate amount of deep sleep is one of the best strategies to improve your long-term HGH production. 
Number 7. Take cold showers or dive into cold water. Cold exposure like cold plunges or cold showers may help to increase human growth hormone. If you can, take a cold dip in a pool or lake after you've been in the sauna. Finish your shower with cold water, or if you're brave, take cold showers more and more often to get used to them. Number 8. Exercises with a lot of effort. One of the best ways to significantly raise HGH levels is to exercise. The increase depends on the type of exercise you do, how hard you work out, what you eat before and after your workout, and how your body is built. Most HGH is raised by high-intensity exercise, but all types of exercise are good for you. Like dietary supplements, exercise mostly boosts HGH levels in the short term. But in the long run, exercise can help your hormones work better and cut down on your body fat, both of which are good for your growth hormone levels. Number 9. When you work out, take a sports drink. Some sports supplements can improve performance and raise HGH levels temporarily. In one study, the number of repetitions went up when people took 4.8 grams of beta-alanine before they worked out. Compared to the group that didn't take supplements, it also doubled their peak power and raised their HGH levels. In another study, it was found that drinking a sweet sports drink at the end of a workout raised HGH levels. But if you are trying to lose weight, the extra calories in the drink will cancel out the short-term HGH boost. Studies show that protein shakes with or without carbs, can raise HGH levels right before or after a workout. But if you eat casein or whey protein right before you work out, it can make you less able to work out. In one study, the placebo group had higher levels of human growth hormone and testosterone than the group that drank a drink with 25 grams of casein or whey protein 30 minutes before working out. Number 10. Keep your vitamin D level up. Vitamin D is important for a number of things that help raise growth hormone levels. It has been found that a lack of vitamin D affects how well HGH works and how well GHT is treated. A 2013 study in the European Journal of Endocrinology found that adults with higher levels of vitamin D have higher levels of insulin-like growth factor 1 in their blood. This shows just how important vitamin D is for treating GHT. Vitamin D also raises your testosterone levels and helps your body do many other things that affect your growth and development. Getting some morning sun and eating vitamin D-rich foods like salmon, walnuts, and cereals with added vitamin D can help. We hope you liked the video. If so, hit the like button and share it with your loved ones. If you have any questions or comments, let us know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more of our amazing videos. You can also watch our other videos suggested just for you. See you in the next video.